Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. Root a plus root b is equal to 17 and root a plus b is equal to 13. Our job is to find all possible values of a and b. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. First we take this equation 1. Equation 1 is uh, root a plus uh, root b is equal to 17. From this equation we move this uh, root b to the right hand side. So this will become root a is equal to 17 minus root b. Now we take square of uh, both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and at left hand side we are left with uh, a is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2ab. This is 17 minus uh, root b whole squared will become 17 squared plus uh, root b squared minus 2 times uh, 17 times uh, root b. Next a is equal to 17 squared is uh, 289 plus uh, this uh, square will be cancelled out with the square root and we are left with uh, b minus 2 times 17 is uh, 34 times uh, root b. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we take square of both sides of equation 2. Equation 2 is uh, root a plus b is equal to 13. Equation 2 is uh, root a plus b is equal to 13 and we take a square of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with a plus b is equal to 13 squared is 169. Let's call this equation equation 4. Now in this equation 4 we replace this a with this value 289 plus b minus 34 times root b. So this will become 289 plus b minus 34 times root b plus this b is equal to 169. So we subtract 169 from both sides. So this get cancelled. The 289 minus 169 is 120. We write this negative 34 root b first. Negative 34 times root b. And this 1b plus 1b will become plus 2 times b is equal to at right hand side we are left with 0. Now we can factor out 2 from these 3 terms. 2 as common factor in bracket left 60 minus 17 times root b plus b is equal to 0. And from here we divide both sides by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and at left hand side we are left with 60 minus 17 times root b plus b is equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. Now we rearrange these terms we write this b first b minus 17 times uh, root b plus uh, 
60 is equal to 0. Now we suppose that this uh, root b is equal to x. Let root b equal to x. And if we square both sides, uh, this implies that uh, b is equal to x squared. So this equation will become x squared minus uh, 17 times x uh, plus uh, 60 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this x squared, x squared. We split this uh, negative 17x as a negative 12 times x minus 5 times x plus uh, 60 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out x in back left, uh, x minus 12. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 5 in back left, uh, x minus 12 is equal to 0. And this x minus 12 is a common factor, so we factor out this uh, x minus 12. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this uh, x and this negative 5. In bracket left, uh, x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from here, either this expression x minus 12 is equal to 0, or this expression x minus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of x is equal to 12. And uh, from this equation, we get the value of x is equal to 5. Now, recall that we have supposed, we have supposed that uh, root b is equal to x. We have supposed that uh, root b is equal to x. So, when x is equal to 12, then this will become root b is equal to 12. And when x is equal to 5, then this will become root b is equal to 5. First, we take a square of uh, both sides of uh, this equation. So, this uh, square will be considered with the square root and we get the value of uh, b is equal to 12 squared is uh, 144. Now, we take square of both sides of uh, this equation. So, this uh, square will be considered with the square root and we get the value of uh, b is equal to 5 squared is uh, 25. So, we get uh, two values of b, 144 and uh, 25. To find the values of a, we recall equation number 4. Equation 4 is a plus b is equal to 169. Equation 4 is uh, a plus b is equal to 169. Equation 4 is a plus b is equal to 169. First, in this equation, we replace this b with this 144, then this will become a plus 144 is equal to 169. We subtract 144 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of A is equal to 169 minus 144 is 25. So, when B is equal to 144, then A will be 25. Now, in this equation, we replace this B with this 25 then uh, this will become a plus uh, 25 is equal to 169 and we subtract uh, 25 from both sides. 
so this get cancelled and we get the value of a is equal to 169 minus 25 will become 144 so when b is equal to 25 then a will be equal to 144 so the final set of solutions of a comma b is equal to the first pair is 25 comma 144 and the second pair is 144 comma 25 this is the final answer of this problem